Hello and welcome to the show today. I am playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. Now normally, if you see in the title of the game, Simulator and a date, you should run away. And run away very, very quickly because they are normally terrible. Uh, things like Euro Truck Simulator, yeah, that's a very, very good game. Uh, but a lot of simulators, especially the dated ones, tend to be pretty damn terrible. However, I am pleased to say that this game is quite good. I quite like it. I find it quite an enjoyable game. There are some faults, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I do quite like this game. Uh, even the menu is a good start. It looks it looks kind of interesting. It looks a lot more interesting than some uh, simulator menus. The car's headlights may be a little bit bright uh, for my personal liking. If we go into the options, look at that. I like that. That's cool. I like that, uh, <laughs> that menu system. The interior of this car may be the blandest interior of any vehicle I think I have ever seen. Um, but the menu is kind of neat. Anyway, we shall go. We shall begin. We shall uh, load up my my game. I've tried this recording a couple of times now, having some problems. I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully, this time it will work. Fingers crossed that this won't suddenly break and die. Um, anyway, yes, we are going to be car mechanicering, car mechanicarizing that one. Um, <laughs> I should point out before I start doing anything. Uh, I have some some knowledge of how cars work. I do not have lots of knowledge of how cars work. So if I do something very dumb, I apologise. Don't be too angry. <laughs> I did sort of uh, I did part of a college course on motorsport. Wasn't a massive fan of it. That's a long story. Um, so yeah, I do I know bits and pieces here and there. I kind of vaguely sort of know-ish uh, what I'm doing. So <laughs> I may well make some silly mistakes though. So here we are. This is in our starting garage. The mouse is a little bit floaty. Uh, it's kind of a weird control. It's kind of sensitive and not sensitive and floaty and yeah, it's going to take a bit of getting used to that. I could probably adjust some settings somewhere. Also, there's this weird thing that goes on where, like, if you look around and then look somewhere, it goes blurry for a little while and then it sort of comes back into focus, sort of there. And then we look back again, it's more fun. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe that won't even be coming across in the recording. I don't know. Um, yeah, this is a little bit, a little bit odd. Uh, not quite sure what that is, but never mind. We shall we shall carry on. So here we go. This is a this is the car we're going to be starting on. It looks very much uh, like a well, like one of the new Vauxhall courses. It's even got almost an Opal badge on it. Um, anyway, what have we been doing? I don't even know what we're doing with this car. Replacing the fuel pump. Okay, we can do that. Yes, let's do that thing. Let's uh, let's do that. Go up. Here we go. Now, now begins the search for the part you are looking to replace. This is it helps if you know uh, about cars. It helps if you know your way around cars. Uh, I am hoping that we are going to be in Wibble in. There we go. There you are. That's nice and easy. Uh, undo two bolts and whoop, got it. Okay, we'll now go buy a new one. This is a lovely simple job. This one <laughs> can't possibly screw this up. I say, I say that. Um, what we're looking for fuel pump pump fuel pump come here we need you no there we go fuel pump yes we'll get you and then we will put you back into the, if i could click on the buttons we'll put you back into the car uh, oh we want to go to assembly mode that in there brand new fuel pump and done hey we have fixed a car in record time ish whoopsie i pressed escape one too many times and gone back to so i I have a, a couple of criticisms of the control scheme. Um, I have a tendency to, when I'm playing games, like most games you'll have the mouse's kind of uh, move or look around, and I, sometimes I'll be playing games, I can't remember what game it is, but you have to hold the uh, right mouse button to move the camera around. And I keep doing that on here, I'll keep thinking that's what I'm supposed to be doing, I'm supposed to be moving the mouse around, and I keep bringing up the menus. It's so, yeah, I apologise if... Um, I've yeah, if I do that by accident, uh, I just let my wife wife a car for a few days and look what I have now. Gearbox is a mess. Oh dear, oh dear, that's not very good, my friend. Um, we will have to replace your gearbox. Um, okay, yeah, that's what, okay. We need to. Uh, well, I think we can do it from this view, can't we? Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to remember, like another criticism I have is you can only access parts from certain views. What I would personally like, I'll just show you quickly. Uh, what I would like, oh, close the bonnet, damn it. Um, what I would like it to do is, for example, me to be able to go here and just click on whatever parts it is that I wanted to work on. Uh, or go back down here and click on these. However, you have to click on these sort of interaction points. And then that means that you work on that area. So, for example, on this bit here, I'm now working on the... Ooh, ooh, come on, camera. 
swivel around this way. Ooh. <laughs> I'm now working on the end. In fact, actually, the gearbox is a good place to explain this. So I'm trying to get the gearbox out here. Now, I've got to take out other various components before I can get to the gearbox. Oh, fudge it. Uh, okay, we're going to put the car back on the floor, because I can't show you from up there. Um, yeah, I, I did press that. Yeah, we've got to take out other various components before we can get to the gearbox, which is correct. So we've got to go in here, and we've got to go swivel around here. I do like how we just phase through the car. This would make mechanical rising much easier, okay? It is much easier if you could swivel and phase through stuff. I remember at college, we spent an entire day trying to change the starter motor on a Vectra. I should point out that was when I was, like, on my, in my first sort of few... A uh, few weeks, I guess, we were trying to do this bloody starter motor that you could not reach. I don't know if anyone's worked on an, uh, one of the older Vectras, most boring car um, ever, <laughs> pretty much. The starter motor was unbelievably hard to get to, like inc ridiculously, stupidly hard to reach. Uh, much easier <laughs> on this game where you can just swivel around and get to everything. Um, so yeah, that, that does kind of make things a little bit easier on here, and then we'll take a all of you to get to the drive shaft axle bits, get rid of you. There is quite a lot of clicking on bolts, I, I will be honest, there is lots of clicking on bolts, luckily uh, they don't take, oops, let's swivel a bit, get off there, and take that bit there off, the, go away, I probably didn't need to take all of that off, never mind, so I will uh, uh, got to get camera around, then we want to get, so, ah. <laughs> well, the bit that you select is the bit that like, the camera focuses on, and I keep messing things up, there we go, get rid of that. Okay, we can get rid of that section, and then we'll go around this side. Oh dear. Yeah, camera camera controls, a little bit wonky at times. Get rid of this other wheel. Uh, I also love how all of the bolts sort of come undone very nicely. Uh, I also like how it's impossible to lose them. <laughs> That's also another useful feature of this. There are no terribly rusted bolts, and they don't go pinging across the workshop. Uh, I don't know, do I need... Oops, fudge. Go away. Yeah, that's what I mean by doing that. Can I... Ooh, access? No, I probably can't. So let's just get rid of this. Oh, there we go. Get rid of you. Might as well. Uh, it's not really taking much more time. Uh, no, that's not what I want to do. Uh, we want to uh, click on that. That's what we wanted to get. There we go. Got rid of you. Now we get to go. Yeah, this is what I mean about having to keep change. So when you're doing this, I can't now click on the gearbox and change the camera to focus on that. I've now got to leave from the wheel bit, go back to here, and now I can click on the gearbox and remove the gearbox. A little bit fiddly, um, not ideal, I can I can live with it, I can work around that. I want to do an entire new gearbox. Uh, okay, we'll go buy, buy a new one of them. Uh, car part shop. Did I need a specific one? I, I do like how pretty much all of the parts are universal. I guess there's the bigger V6-engined vehicles, uh, but every other part is interchangeable. That's excellent. More cars should be like that. Um, I'm presuming we just... I'm not going to risk it. I'm presuming this is just a standard gearbox. If we go into inventory, we have lots of inventory. Gearbox, gearbox, gearbox. Yeah, just normal gearbox. Oops, wrong button. And that's the one we wanted. Thank you very much. Also like how parts get delivered to you instantly. Those, those excellent Amazon drones. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to see one of them trying to carry a gearbox. That would be interesting. Uh, then we want to go back to assembly mode. There we go. And now we can fix you on. And there we go. And then we have replaced the gearbox in record time. Again, this is where I would like to be able to just say, right, gearbox is in. Now I should want to be able to click on that. Yeah. <laughs> Can't quite... Oh, sod it. I might as well put the starter motor backing. Swivel through here. Whoop. There we go, you can go on there. I've got many, like, when you remove the parts, they go stay in your inventory. So after a few jobs, you end up with an inventory full of broken bits. And you can sell them, or you, could, you can sell them. I don't know, I, I want to know who is buying, like, 10% conditioned brake pads um, <laughs> for, like, $10. I don't know why, I don't know why you would be, but uh, never mind, okay, you're in. Put you back on there. Ooh, camera's gone a bit too close. <laughs> Swivel that around. There we go. Get in the hang of things. I know what I'm doing. Uh, and I've reassembled all of this. Yeah, my, my one my one concern with this game is, aside from the, the a few uh, a few uh, sort of niggles, is the repetitiveness of it. If they can keep, if they, they can keep being plenty of different faults and maybe different restrictions, maybe a time limit, maybe a certain budget that you have to combine 
perhaps used parts and new parts, that sort of thing. Uh, then I think there should there would be a decent longevity to this if you are a kind of a carry person. Um, my only concern is if it's all fairly simplistic after after you've seen it all and done it all once. Um, it, yeah, there may not be there may not be much incentive to kind of carry on with it because you'll just be redoing the same procedures over and over again. I mean, that's that's kind of what you would do as a real mechanic, but to, as a game that you play for a bit of fun, you want there to be a little bit more variation. At the moment, I've been playing this for probably an hour or two so far, and while you know we've we've done we've covered sort of a, a few parts, uh, sort of repeated if you like, uh, we're still coming up with new things every. Uh, most times, it's not often that I've seen a, a, a like a, a sim, same fault. I don't know how technical the faults are going to get later on. I'm still on the still in the opening garage. That's done. I, whoops, that's done. I think we've got all sorts of spare parts in there. Uh, repaired. Woohoo! Let's see what we get next. I'm hoping I get a specific sort of thing so I can show you something else that this game has. Otherwise, we will keep going until we get to this. Uh, what have we got to do now? Oh, we've only got filters. Bugger. Um, what do we do? Okay, I haven't changed the oil for a long time. It, uh, it has to be finally done. I'll wait here for my car. Okay, change the oil, change the oil. I don't actually know how to change the oil. The game, you haven't told me how to change the oil. Well, I know how to change oil. The game hasn't told me how to change oil. Never mind. Um, right. Let's put you up. How would that? Can we have like a. Well, no, it looks like the floor catches the oil. That's fine. Don't worry. We're not going to use the thing to catch the oil. We're just going to dump it on the floor. Um, right. And, hmm. Is there the... Where's the... Where's the... the hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Is, the, is there a... If we... Ah, oil... Oil draining plug. We made a mess on the floor. Sorry. We're going to need to clean that up. Yeah. We might need to... Uh, <laughs> oh, it's gone. Never mind. It's fine. Nothing. Nothing bad happened. Um, we needed to buy uh, what's the jig, didn't we? Uh, oil, oil, oil filter, wasn't it? That's what we were looking for. Do, do, do. No, that's a fuel filter. We need a f oil, oil, oil. I think. Have I missed it? No, maybe not. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> there it is. Oil filter. Excellent. And then we. we, we no. Press escape one too many times, and we'll we'll, we'll go football and camera and oil pan. There we go. If we focus on that, that's good. Put you back in there, and then we might as well just put the car back on the floor, and then we will change the filter. Excellent. Ah, record quick time again <laughs> with this. So far, I've only seen four different models of car come into this garage, I presume, I cannot tell you for sure, but uh, I presume uh, that the more garages you get through, like the cars, like there's three cars, or two cars at least, on the opening screen, um, that I've, oh, f God, I want the, this, there we go, oil filter out, um, there are a couple of cars on the opening screen that I haven't seen yet appear in here, so I'm going to presume as you go, as you progress through the career, as you go, ah, <laughs> A little bit fiddly, this one. Uh, I, yeah, I'm presuming as you go further through the career, you will come across, like, you go to a more expensive garage, more expensive cars will appear, and that kind of thing. All right, done. Another car done. Now, can we change the... Did I not refill the oil? No, not done. Definitely don't send that car back out. Do I have to re-click the... Uh... Oh, no, wait. I'm, why am I doing that? Let's go from the top. What on earth am I doing? <laughs> I shall I shall pour upwards. Yes, I am magic. Um, do we do it from here? I presume. Ah, there we go. Oh, you have to click on it. Okay. How much do I put in? Okay, game deals with that one. That's fine. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know. It doesn't tell me. Shall we just pour all of the oil in? Sod it. That'll do. Oil. Um, are you happy with me now? Yes, it's done. I didn't totally guess on that one. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how much you're supposed to put in. Well, thank you, game. Uh, no, I've probably checked. Sod it. It'll be fine. There's nothing going to go. If I see uh, that van in again, it wasn't me that worked on it, okay? I didn't touch it. Oh, we've still not got the car that I, I was hoping for. Bugger. Um, there is a test drive. Actually, I might be able to show you with a car that doesn't need it. You can test drive the vehicles. Um, 
Will it, uh, will let me do it. So sometimes they come in with like a, an unknown fault and you have to test drive it to find what it is. Now, I was expecting it to be sort of a, a nice, sort of normally leisurely test drive. No, they give you a test track and you can rag the cars around it as much as you like. <laughs> I'm not sure this is standard testing procedure for vehicles, uh, but never mind, it's kind of fun. And we shall uh, use the handbrake to get it turned around here, and then we'll watch it go and sort of get it stopped. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's such a point. I wasn't expecting this from this game. I wasn't expecting you to be able to uh, to drive the cars. I was thinking it was all going to be done uh, in the garage. But uh, no, you can drive the cars. And the, the funny thing is, the handling model on here is better than some racing games I've played. I am playing this on a keyboard at the moment, but it's actually... Cars are quite, quite nice to drive. They handle realistically. Well, I say realistically. They handle they handle well enough to be competent. They're not they're not even terribly arcadey. And um, yeah, it's, it's just... They're nice to drive on here. I'm presuming... Uh, like this is your testing area for the basic zone. I guess as you move up your garages, you get more fancy, more fancy. That was terrible English. You get fancier testing tracks or testing areas. Sure, it's not a massive thing, but it's kind of like a neat feature that I really wasn't expecting. Um, what are we supposed to be doing with this car other than braking it some more? Uh, replace timing. Replace water pump. Um, okay. Right. So we're going to have to go uh, open you. And uh, get, in, get in here somewhere. We want to. So, like, another thing I do quite like is that it tells you what you need to remove first. So, for example, if I want to remove this timing belt, the things flashing in red are telling me I need to. So, I need to remove this bit here first, and I need to remove uh, this bit here first as well. This is kind of useful, um, <laughs> so that you don't get confused as to why you suddenly can't remove a part if you are slightly less uh, experienced with uh, with engineering. And oh, we needed to remove you. Was it? What? It was water pump as well that we wanted to uh, get rid of. I kind of like that. Occasionally, I have seen it get a little bit confused and not be flashing up what you need. Or I think, I think there's only one time that I've had that. But on the most part, it'll flash red telling you this is the bit that you, or these are the bits you need to remove uh, before you can remove that bit that you're trying to remove. You idiot. Um, what was I doing? When I'm talking, it's hard to remember uh, what I'm supposed to be. What was I doing? Belt ten. Oh. Fudge. Um, replace timing, just in general, or <laughs> on your car. Uh, we'll get it. We'll get all new timing parts for this bloody thing. Then it was timing. Oh fudge! What bits were they? It was timing tensioner and timing belt. I think were the bits that we needed. Uh, did we need that? Probably not. Uh, where is it? Timing. No, that's a timing belt V6. Want a timing belt? And we want the little tensionary bit. It would be helpful if they organised it um, <laughs> by category more, other than sort of higgledy pickledy. Uh, sorry, my voice is uh, dying. Just bear with me a second. <coughs> <coughs> okay, I think I'm yeah, we're covering it. I don't know what's going on with my voice. Um, so yeah, apologise for that. Where is this polymer jig? Can I not buy one? Surely I must. I've probably been uselessly blind and now not seen it, and everybody's going, at this time you went... <laughs> I had my mouse over it, found it, never mind, it's fine. At this time I found the bloody thing. Uh, oh, water pump. Water pump. I don't want to use car parts. Uh, we want another water pump, another search. Could we have a filters, please? It would be much easier. <laughs> This is the mini-game. Within Car Mechanic Simulator, you have got to find the parts on the shop. Um, <laughs> Uh, oh, water pump. Typical. The water pump's the last bloody thing. Okay. Yes, that was all we needed. So we go back, fiddle into the engine, and oh, uh, what order did they go in? <coughs> Can't bloody remember. Oh, we wanted to go to assembly mode. We want to put you in. Brand new water pump. Uh, and then click on the bolts. Much easier doing them up this way. <laughs> and then, which order did we go? We want you. Timing belt on. Belt tensioner on. And belt on. That's it, I think. Are we... Oh, no, it wanted the other belt replaced as well, I guess, then. Um, I mean, that was, that was still in pretty good condition, though, the other... The serpent... This one. That belt was in pretty good pretty good nick. Never mind. Uh, I don't know how... I also like how they know when you've not used 100% parts <laughs> on the car. Yeah, can go away there, and then assembly mode. See, I'm getting the hang of how this works now. Put that on there. Or did I need to replace the idler? Oh, 
fudge. Let's see if that's worked. Yeah, I need to place that idle pulley as well, didn't I? Now, are you in a sensible place? On here? No, you're not. Where are you? Are you with the other pulley? Up here. No. <laughs> or the other attention. Oh, for heaven's sake. Where is it? I will find There it is. Hundred, another hundred dollars on that. Uh, we'll all down this way. And uh, I've got to take all of this bloody off again, haven't I? Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of... Oh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then we can get rid of that. And then we want to go back to assembly mode. <laughs> Put it all back on again. Uh, I, I, it's kind of hard to explain why I, why I like this game. It, I, I do enjoy it. It's kind of relaxing. It's a lot slower paced. It's a lot more calm. You're just worried about fixing the engine. You're not worried about getting the car around a track as fast as possible. And I do quite like this, though. Uh, how much you enjoy this game is probably going to depend on how much of a car person you are. If you love cars, which you probably will do if you're watching my channel, to be honest. Um, yeah, if you, if you really like cars, you're probably going to enjoy this game. Uh, if you are not a particularly a particular car person, then you're probably not. <laughs> if I'm honest, the review of this game will vary massively depending on if you're interested in cars or not. Uh, right, is that all done now? Yes, it's all fixed. Ta-da! You're happy now. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that pretty much sums up this game, really. I, I quite enjoy it. I've enjoyed playing this game so far. And there's been enough variety at the moment, although there is potential that it might become a little bit samey. Find and eliminate the problem. Well, if it sounds horrible when driving on bumpy roads, probably a suspension-y thing. Or something like that. Uh, ooh! A different sort of vehicle. I don't think I've seen one of these before, have I? Uh, not sure. I'm trying to trying to think what it looks like. I guess maybe a Ford C Maxi kind of thing. Uh, anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. I I I personally would recommend this game, and I'm sure for most of you viewers uh, watching this, being being big car fans, you'll probably like this game. It's only nine quid on Steam at the moment. I don't know when it'll go up to full price. Even at full price, I think it's only going to be twelve, fifteen. It's not going to be very much money. Uh, I I do recommend. It. It's great fun. Uh, or at least I I found it very enjoyable. Just sort of slower pace more calm just repairing vehicles and yeah i, I kind of i kind of like this game uh anyway that is it for today so thank you very much for watching if you want to see me do more of this game carrying on uh, repairing of vehicles and generally be kefuddled uh, when it comes to motor cars motor cars motor vehicles whatever sod it i, I give up i don't care anymore i'm gonna hide in the corner uh leave a like leave a leave a comment and if, if lots of people want to see me carry on then uh i, I shall However, that is it for now, so thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye.